Chord progressions don't have to be overly complex. In fact, most of what you hear on pop radio consists of four chords or less. Once you have a pattern of chords to work with, you can experiment with tone and rhythm to fine tune it to your stylistic preference. Here's a crash course on how chords are built from the major scale. There are many other scales to derive chords from, and you definitely don't have to stay within one scale or key when building your chord progression. Once you have a good handle on functional harmony in major keys, I'd recommend exploring other tonalities. We'll start by looking at a C major scale. Now every major scale is a combination of whole steps and half steps, beginning and ending on the same pitch. For every note of that scale, we can build a chord. In the case of C major, our one chord is a C major chord, our two chord, D minor, our three chord is E minor, our four chord is F major, our five chord is G major, our six chord is A minor, and our seventh chord, which is not as commonly used in pop music, is a diminished triad or minor seven flat five chord. And we're back to where we started. It's common practice to refer to our chords by their associated number in the major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to one. A one, four, five chord progression would look like this. One is C major, four is F major, and five is G major. Let's look at some common chord progressions. In blues, folk, and country music, the one, four, five is very common. In the case of C major, we have C major, F, and G. Might use them something like this. The one, five, six, four is the single most common chord progression used in pop music. Everyone from John Denver to Green Day has used this progression. The one, six, two, five is very common in jazz music, but also widely used in pop. It might sound like this. To explore the many possibilities that you have with diatonic chords, you might want to check out the attached PDF on harmonic tendencies. The first goal of this course is to build two chord progressions, one to be used during the verse and one for the chorus. There are some songs where it's the same chord progression for both the verse and the chorus, and that might work for you as well. So go through your chords of the key, put them in order, and decide which is going to be used for the verse and which for the chorus. You can use the common chord progressions or the PDF on harmonic tendencies as a reference, but you're going to want to use your ear and play around with the order of these chords. Whatever sounds pleasing to you is what's best. We're excited to hear what you come up with. In closing, I'd like to demonstrate a chord progression that I've come up with using the chords of the key of C. I'm going to employ some finger picking, and I've got a set of chords for the verse and a set of chords for the chorus. For my verse, I'm using C, F major, A minor, and G. For my chorus, I'm using E minor, A minor, D minor, and G. It might sound something like this. <laughs> <laughs>